Howdy, y'all. Um, yeah, I'm all dutied up. Um, on Facebook, I found out that there was a... Well, I thought it was going to be a Highland Games. It was a hip, it ended up being a heavy sports, more oriented thing up in Richmond, um, northern Utah. And, um, well, I thought it, there was going to be Pipers up there. So I got, this is the first time I've worn my kilt and stuff, and, well, one thing I have to confess, um, this tunic is actually a Dickies, um, work shirt, because, um, it, the only shirts that fit really proper, properly, because I feel like I, I'm in a sack of potatoes with this shirt. But anyway, and the Tartanus clan gun. Um, so anyway, uh, I, you know, I haven't done any piping games or anything like that for quite a while. And so I drove up to Richmond and got lost up there because, um, it's it ended up being what's called a black and white festival now if you're not part of the rural uh communities or anything like that or your family has only ever lived in the city black and white means is a reference to it um as far as i understand a, a hereford cow okay it has nothing to do with politics it has everything to do with po with um heritage <clears throat> american heritage which could be parallel to heritage in England or Scotland or with farming anywhere in the world. Everybody has a heritage that they that they celebrate. And so these people are Scottish descendants and they're dairy farmers and beef farmers and farmer farmers and you know they're the people that provide the food for for people in the cities. So anyway, I saw this thing about a, a festival coming up. It's called the Black and White Festival. So I decided, you know, I haven't played my pipes. And my piping, by my standards, was way off. Because I haven't played my pipes for a long time. A year. So I uh, got my small pipes together and everything like that and uh drove up to richmond which is north of logan and i'm actually kind of s checking logan out so i don't know uh, i'm just checking it out i'm not making any plans or anything like that so i went up to these these highland games and i show up and i'm warming up my pipes out in the parking lot and um so i come walking into the gate and it, it's open gate it's like a carnival really and it's a small carnival because richmond is a is a small community it's really spread out but you don't need a lot of farmers to feed half a million people you just need people that are willing to work hard and my family part of my family is from that part but in the culture that i grew up in it was it was okay to make fun of farmers and hillbillies and hicks and and whatever and everybody had this drive to be a, a so-called sophisticated urbanite even though, though salt lake city growing up i thought salt lake city was a big city it's not i've been through kansas i've been through denver uh, St. Louis, um, you know, and, uh, Salt Lake is not a big city. So, but anyway, everybody likes to pretend that they're sophisticated and this, this, that, and the other. But when it comes down to it, my people are, are earth people. So anyway, so I went out to this black and white festival <clears throat> and Here's all these people who are hardworking, regular people. I was able to communicate with them. 
because I know where they're coming from and, and what, where where I'm coming from. And so, you know, of course they asked me if I was I was uh, LDS, and well, long story short, I told them that my family is from the Vernal area, their pioneer family. And I know where my ancestors are buried. And I have one ancestor that I go and play at his grave. He's my first ancestor in the United States. So once a year, and I don't have to have a date. I just go there and play my pipes for a little bit. Because it's close and, and, you know, it's not hurting anybody. So I go and play the pipes at his grave. I played it, the pipes at my grandmother's grave. And I played my pipes at my great-grandmother's grave. They all, pat my... Grandmother and my great grandmother passed away before I could play the pipes. <clears throat> and they're, uh, well, there's a history behind that. But that's not what I'm going to talk about. So I went up there to this games, and it's all heavy sports. No pipers. I'm like, I don't hear bagpipes or anything. So it turned out that. I'm the first and only Piper to have showed up at these games, Highland Games, in five years. So, and I just went up pretty much on a whim. You know, I saw a post on Facebook and there was a guy that invited people up. He was going to uh, do um, the heavy sports. And me, I thought there would, might be piping and I knew I was going to be late to meet any piping competition but usually pipers don't just disperse right away after the the competition so anyway I'm the first and only piper to have ever shown up at these games and they were more than happy to have me I wasn't happy with my piping but guess what they treated me like a prince up there and uh, now I'm not up there to take so I got this drink. I don't know what to think of it. Now it's not a COVID thing, but when I moved back to Utah, <clears throat> um, down in, in kind of West Valley, it's like 33rd South in almost State Street at the Meadowbrook Garage. Well, my first apartment was down there and the water is terrible in that area. I don't know why, but it, it like permanently <coughs> permanently messed up my sense of taste because nothing has tasted the same ever since I drank the water there and it this is way pre this three years before COVID so it has nothing to do with it you know people like to do you a COVID and I'm like yeah before it was invented no the water's bad. It screwed up my sense of taste. So anyway, I'm at this Highland Games, and you know, I'm not there to take. So I bought this drink. Um, and I'm not advertising because I don't know who in the heck these guys are. So it's Iron Brew, and it says here 99 pence, which would be cool. I would love to have some English coinage, just for the fun of it. And uh, I tried it. It's orange. And the guy that sees, he said, it's not what you expect. It's not orange orange. I'm like, okay. So I tasted it. And you know what? Honestly, I can't tell you what kind it tastes like. But he's like, well, some people say it, say it tastes like orange cream. No, it does not. Because um, orange cream is one of my alternative drinks if I can't get coca-cola or a Barks root beer this does have bite to it though so it's got something in there that gives it bite like coke coca-cola or uh, Barks and I'm just not a Pepsi fan it, it see to me it's flat and it's too sweet and that's just because of the way I I like things so anyway, um, I had my David Nail drones and a McLellan Chanter, and the reed is really soft on it. 
and it was pretty it was probably 80 degrees up there and my believe it or not because my my practice pipes what do you want kitty got make sure I stay modest here come here so I uh, Zena says hi she they my cats don't like it when I leave especially like today it was like don't leave us again because I had to leave it for three days and uh, it ended up being four hi Jules all my cats are saying hi so anyway and I'm pretty far away from my microphone so this probably isn't gonna turn out like I wanted but anyway um, I went up there and played I didn't go up there to get anything back at all period and I actually didn't stay very long I only stayed about two two and a half hours three and you know I did my circuits a couple of times through the whole festival because I'm the only piper and I'm and they were shocked as hell or heck and um, you know they offered me the drink I bought the drink and the guy had a really cool t-shirt and I'm like are you selling those can can I buy one and he's like uh, we don't have any and I'm like okay that's that's fine because I think this shirt is really cool so um, I you know I'll play my pipe I'm not gonna leave in in you know bad attitude and all that stuff I wasn't there to get anything so I was there to support the community the Highland community I'll put it that way so I was getting ready to leave and you know I thanked them for letting me play you know and and then I I, I made a soft promise that I would try to be there next year and that one of the people the organizers lives in Ogden close to me hi Jules all my cats are saying hi because they're happy I'm home so um you know I've got all these plans random plans and stuff like that which are which will have to change once I start working well the funny thing is one of the organizers lives down here in South in South Ogden and I live in Ogden proper and uh, one of the high schools up here is Ben Loman High School and they have their own pipe band but I don't think they have a lot of direction and I'm not as as advanced of a piper I can teach tuning I can make sure they're in tune but there's a lot of other stuff that I I would have to quit my job and, and go to a piping college and they do have one down in, in uh, Riverside but I don't know if that's still active active Riverside California and you know I in in a lot of ways I'm not very it's either I'm not very smart or I'm stubborn which can be you know the same thing does that make sense stubborn is being stupid when people are trying to help you so anyway uh, I went to leave and they said hey wait and, and they said well is a medium shirt okay for you for you and I, I'm like normally I wear an extra large I've lost a lot of weight and I'm planning on gaining it back so <clears throat> they gave me a t-shirt so I have to say thank you to uh, the black and white festival because they didn't need to do this I did this because I wanted to and so black and white Highland Games how cool of a t-shirt is that now see the problem is I I have to wear this and um, you know they had their own sponsors on here and I'm not part of the sponsorship so I'm just gonna flash this really quick but this is Richmond and this shirt is actually large for a medium so I'll be have no problem wearing it and I'll wear it with pride and gratefulness and no I'm not gonna play my nails right now because it was the weirdest thing I went up there you know I've been practicing like crazy and I went up there and it, it was all gone but I have to admit I got lost 
trying to find this festival. And in a small town, it's, it, small towns, it's not hard to get lost. You know, everybody knows where they are, but I don't know. And then I bumped into the, this older couple <clears throat> at a gas station. And they told me where it was. And, you know, and then I went into the restroom and came out. And they said, told me, it's by the Maverick. So they were still gathering information to help me out. That You know, this is small town America. Yeah, I'm dressed like a Scott. Uh, poorly. You know, potato sack shirt. And I can't, I'm too big of a chicken to ask a police officer for a proper tunic. Which is what I want, a highway patrol tunic or a Marine Corps tunic. But I will promise, I, in this is, I'm not trying to pretend to be military. I'm not affiliated with any military or, yeah, I'll just put it that I went through Marine Corps boot camp. I didn't graduate and that was me that decided it's not because I quit it's because I decided that I wasn't going to be a Marine um, I could do all the physical stuff and everything else and that wasn't a problem and my math scores uh, they tested me for my math scores and reading scores and all that stuff I was terrible in math okay so I don't know what the deal was they made me test <clears throat> in math and reading and some other testing four times. And when I went to Transco to be shipped out, I, I was there for six weeks. So they kept recycling me around to Transco because they were trying to re-motivate me. And they had me do a couple of stuff, things. But it's more complicated than that. And it, in a way, I, it's a guilt. But and anybody who knows me knows how headstrong, what a pain in the butt I was when I was a kid. So in the Marine Corps, I probably either excelled beyond everybody's expectations or failed miserably. I wouldn't have gone to jail or the brig or anything like that. So anyway, um, that's just my short story about my thing for today. It's clan gun and uh, I have a turkey feather that... I'm going to figure out how I can wear it with my cat badge. And the reason why is because of the turkey feather. Well, in my, from my understanding, turkey is an American bird. They're very smart. And um, if I want to wear a macaroni, I want it to be a turkey feather. So I have to figure out a way to preserve it or get some more turkey feathers so that if this one ever gets destroyed, I can replace it. Now, a turkey feather, uh, I was told this in Kentucky, a turkey feather, if you dip the tip in black paint or dye, it looks like an eagle feather. And you know what? Only the clan chief is allowed to wear a uh, an eagle feather. And uh, I don't have permission to do something like that. I'm not going to be a pretender on that part. I'm a bagpiper. And I'm happy to be a bagpiper. I'm an American. I'm happy to be American. And my people are from the earth. And that's the way it is. So, um, thanks for watching. And this is just a short blurb story. But uh, it's probably turning out longer than I wanted it to. My nails are up and running. But my, I just barely got home. My cats are all excited that, they, uh, that I'm home. Huh, kitty. Jules is, you can, you can see Jules' ear over this way sometimes. Because he's waiting for me to, to, well I already gave him their stoner snacks. So, anyway, thanks for watching. And, uh, yes, I'm still working on the Chinese pipes. I took my, my parlor pipes with me, but I didn't play them. So I gotta get back used to, into, used to, mixing and stuff like that it was all good and i, I got a t-shirt look mom i got a t-shirt and it's yeah i made some really good connections traded business cards and that kind of stuff we'll see what happens and then monday my last four stitches are theoretically going to come out so you know i'm not supposed to be walking around and stuff like that and that's part of the reason why i left early 
because I, I, you know, this foot wound, I got to get it healed and get it done and get back to work. And then I'm going to start checking out Logan because apparently they're, they're desperate for bus drivers. But, and I mean, they were like so desperate. They were making all the excuses for me to come up and at least check it out. I'm not going to quit UTA unless they offer me the same wage that I'm earning, you know. And I would still have to commute back and forth to this house. Which actually the commute is nicer than driving down to Salt Lake. Except for probably in the winter. Which I could get stuck up in Logan. But I don't know. I'm just taking it on the fly. I want to get back to work. You know, they, they sent me a notification that my insurance was cancelled two weeks after it was cancelled. <coughs> What am I supposed to say to that? You know, I'm going to go back to work and get my inst insurance reinstated. Um, right now, my job is to take care of myself. So anyway, enough of the ramble. Thanks for watching. Bye.